XLT 4x4 7.3 liter turbo diesel kick-ass truck um, I already did a video about this truck about a couple days ago Anywho, I'm deciding to do a full-fledged video inside and out and show everybody a little bit about it If anybody's interested, it's probably gonna be twilight priced uh, pretty well. So uh, Call text me check out the uh, site to see um, pictures full video, which is this video right here and information with that said let's check it out it's a 2000 ford f-250 um it's got a suspension lift on it with uh triple shocks on each side it's got dual steering stabilizers right here um it does i'm gonna shoot off straight for us real quick um actually i'll get to that in a second it's got 35 1250 17 inch uh mud train nitto trail grappler mud trains on it they've seen better days dry rotted uh kind of cupped a little bit that's what you get for not rotating your tires properly guys um, but it's all good because big trucks, you know, diesels carry car a lot more weight, so they couple a lot easier. Uh, this one's got a plug in it right here. I'm gonna completely rip this one a new butthole. Um, I'm gonna roast this truck, so here we go. Um, runs and drives great, don't get me wrong. Runs and drives great. It just passed inspection from the last buyer, which I gotta get, get, go get it inspected on Monday. Um, just passed inspection, new oil changed, filters have been changed, all that stuff. Um, but the truck has seen better days. Like I said, the 7.3 liter is a kick-ass engine. It outlasts the body of the truck, God, probably fourfold, easily, uh, as long as you maintain it. It does have a lot of rust, okay? Rear quarter panels, rusted out, okay? Bed rails, famous, famous. And mind you that this truck is from Virginia. This is a Virginia truck. A good buddy of mine was actually the original owner who bought it brand new at Purvis Ford. Uh, sold it to probably two or three other people after that, and that's where we stand now. So. Rusted bed rails, Ford's design, because the tires fling up crap and salt and brine and whatnot, gets all in here and goes straight across to the other side right there, eats away the metal, and what happens? Mr. Russ comes along and says, oh yeah, I don't like you. So, anywho, there's the truck. Um, bed line, spray and bed line, it's seen better days. It has a hole in the back right there from a previous stack. Uh, clear coat's peeling on both cap corners right here. It's got some vinyl right on both sides right here. Um, Walking around this side, this has been undercoated, so you can see it's not too bad up front, it's just on the back where it gets it. All the clear coat except for the front bug shield used to be. Paint's gone. Uh, a little rust spot right there. I guess he had like a, a Rolls Royce hood ornament. I don't know, whatever you had there. Um, walking around the front, it's got brand new headlights in it. A billet grill, uh, some Walmart fog lights. Grill's kind of butchered up. Valance is butchered up right here a little bit, but those are pretty cheap. I can get those at cost. Um, and that cost goes along to you guys. If you guys ever need wheels, tires, or anything like that, I save 15% off uh, all brand new wheels and tires. So if you need anything, holler at me. And here's the rest of the side of the truck, passenger side. Clear coat's peeling. It's probably been repainted down here at one point in time, silver. The line's not that great. Doesn't really match up too well. Dent right here. Clear coat peeling right here, right here. Vinyl at the top. Uh, rain guard he used to have on there tore it off uh, paint peeling off right here uh, paint right here paint right here peeling scratched peeling fender uh, flare used to be on here big ass 12 inch uh, by 8 inch whatever the hell you, I don't know what size this damn thing is huge uh, muffler tip sounds like a trash can under this side of the passenger side you'll see it's rotted through all the way completely rotted through and the reason why I say this, guys, is I don't typically sell stuff like this. This is not my forte. It's not really my cup of tea to sell stuff. But when I do get them in, whether it's a trade-in, whether it's something um, off the street because I like the engine or I want to build something similar to it, um, and I have the ability to at the moment, and somebody's looking, so be it. But I don't typically carry stuff, as you've seen in my videos, um, with all due respect. With all due respect. Don't take any offense to this, guys. I don't usually typically carry stuff like this. Um based on what I've, you know, carried in the past. But, you know, I do love the 7.3 engine, so don't get me wrong, it's a great truck. Don't let me dis 
despise any of those trucks out there that you guys are looking for or that you currently own because honestly they'll probably outlast some of the new six sevens the motors are kick-ass and they're awesome i absolutely love them um none of the epa shits on it um back then in the day so you're gonna have a lot of uh no troubles with all that interior for the most part is fairly decent to say somewhat besides a little bit of cleaning here and there a little bit of burn right there from one spot scratches and whatnot right, my phone trailer cut break. off um it's getting kind of hot <laughs> it says overheating and i had a phone call but anywho interior for the most part it's got triple pod gauges headliners kind of beat up a little bit nothing too crazy a little bit of dirt nothing that a cleaning cloth can't fix you're switching for the front and back lights right there four-wheel drive works great the hubs lock really nice guys and that's how to see if you keep up keep up on maintenance or whatnot you can turn this so freely um super super nice both sides turn really really easy and i'll show you that in a second i'm gonna start the truck up let you guys hear it super super freely really really nice um on this side and like i said don't let the looks uh turn you turn you off it's the truck runs and drives great honestly on the highway it drives great it doesn't drive like a brand new truck obviously but it does drive really solid uh it's straight line down the road um accelerates good brakes good uh 216,000 miles on this guys okay you guys are probably wondering i should have said that at the beginning of the video but 216,000 miles on this truck um original miles here's the vin number you can check it out um a little bit of rip on the seat right there a little bit of rip right here it's an xlt so it does have cloth and flip up right here and everything in that spot works pretty good um back seat is pretty decent for the most part and ac does blow ice cold ac does blow very very cold i'm gonna show you guys under the truck uh here's the rot right here in the door jam driver's side you can see it's been rotten out okay there's a hole right here in the passenger side look at the pictures if you see the ad honestly this side's rotten out okay um and these trucks don't really stand a chance being that how old they are but the motors are just amazing uh you get a little bit of dampness under there um right at the oil pan too so uh, it's not too too bad um for its age a little bit of rust on this side you can kind of see guys um going up the side right here into the body body's actually got a few spots that are rusted up let's see if i can get up under here there we go you can see that see that so it does have rust um god it's hot i'm gonna start up for you guys and Show you how it sounds. And on the other side, it's exactly the same way, but not as bad. So, show you guys how this sucker sounds and starts up. I'll pop the hood for you. And you can scope it on out. You ready? Love that sound of a 7.3. Nothing like it. Power windows, manual seats. Seat up there kicks ass. AC blows nice and cold. I'll let you guys hear it, ready? You never want to free rev, you never want to free rev a diesel or rag the piss out of it like that. It's not meant for high revs, it's meant for torque, and it's meant for showing off and mud bogging and hauling and towing stuff, whatever you guys want to do with them, but um, yeah, there we go. Boost gauge is taped off after 20, I don't know why I did that, whatever. He doesn't want to go above 20. Boost it all the way you want, who cares, whatever you want to do. Right here, trans temp gauge, pyrometer. I don't think that's a dump, but yeah, let's pop the hood and show you guys under the hood. I'm gonna speak on it loud so you can hear me. Door jams are this side, big to get down to here. All right, here we go. 7.3 liter. Oh, yeah, interstate batteries. Um, Green, green coolant, you can see. Coolant's right at the level it should be, it's nice and green. Interstate battery on this side. Oil change. So, there you have it. Probably gonna throw this truck on eBay here shortly, see if somebody would pay for it. Uh, if you guys are interested, just type in the title. Um, 2007.3 liter, scope it out. Here's the outside, a little bit of rust right inside there. A little bit of rust all along the side of the door. Rust starting to form right here. 
Surprisingly, no rust back here. Um, some tape here for whatever reason. I don't know. Hold that weather stripping on, maybe. The roof's actually somewhat pretty decent. Not too bad. And that's it. Now here's the here's the cool part. Um, if you I, I know how you guys. <laughs> I know how you guys are with my kind of material. I know how you guys are. You guys are probably like, Mark, where's the kick-ass video of you accelerating and rolling coal and all that crazy stuff? Don't worry, I'll do one. Um, my full-time guy's on vacation right now in Outer Banks, so he gets back this Monday. Um, as soon as he gets back, Noah, let's do it, baby. Let's show him what we got. So I hope you guys like the video. This is Mark with the 2004 F250 XLT 4x4 7.3 liter turbo di diesel lifted. Um, on a set of uh, weld wheels, I think these are, or Mickey Thompson, I don't know what kind of wheels they are, but 20 hole aluminum wheels, um, and they are a 17 by 10 or 12 or whatnot, on a 35, 12, 50, 17 inch Nitto Trail Grappler Mud Terrain tire. So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, this is Mark. Peace out.